Hey, what is up guys? My name is Rizal, and welcome back to another edition of my Modern House tutorial series. Now the house I'll be building today has a very beautiful design that comes with a unique driveway which is partially overhanged by the building, as well as having a nice balcony to overlook your scenery. So without any further ado, let's get right into building it. First we will lay out the foundation of the building. So let's begin by laying out a 5x13 area of spruce planks that is 4 blocks tall. Next we'll add in the doors and windows to the foundation. So starting at the front, remove a 3x2 section of planks at the bottom and fill it in with black stained glass panes. Also once they're in, replace the grass underneath them with stone slabs. Then come over to the left side and remove three planks at the center of the second row so we can add in three black stained glass panes here. Next we'll add the doors over on the right side. So starting from the back right corner, go over four blocks and remove a 2x2 two two section of planks at the bottom. Then replace the ground here with grey wool and place two doors on top. Now with the doors in place, we will add a border of stone slabs around them. And then we can go ahead and replace the rest of the grass floor inside here with grey wool. Then once the floor is in, we can cover over the top layer with spruce planks. Next we will add in the walls for the second floor. So let's start at the right side and come over to the last stone slab column around the door. Now go over 3 blocks from this and make a 7 block long wall of spruce planks in the direction of the front of the house. And then let's build this wall up a total of 7 blocks tall. Now once the wall is up, we can then connect it across the top layer of the foundation. Next we'll add a quartz frame around the building. So start from the top layer of the foundation and wrap quartz blocks around the entire building. Now with the frame in place, we'll add a wall on top of it over at the left side. So from the front left corner, go over 3 blocks and build a 3 tall quartz wall that is 9 blocks long. Then underneath this wall, connect quartz blocks down to the ground from both ends of it.
Next, come back to the top, and from the front edge of this wall, go over two blocks and add a three tall quartz wall that goes back a length of two blocks. Now we'll build the remaining walls on the second floor with spruce planks. So from where the quartz frame bends at the middle here, add a three tall wall at the end of it. And then place another wall at the same spot at the back where the quartz frame bends as well. Lastly, we'll add a looped wall on which the staircase will go between later on. So from the back end of this quartz wall, add a two tall spruce wall with a length of five blocks. Then make the wall go in two blocks at the end, and extend out another five long wall so it forms a loop. Next we'll add the roof over top the building. So first start by placing quartz blocks on top of the looped wall we just added. Now starting from the quartz wall at the left side, add two rows of quartz across the front section. Then add a row of quartz around the rest of the building that follows the quartz frame below this. Next, add a row of quartz that connects the two spruce walls at the center here. And then to the right of this, fill in a row of quartz at the front and also two rows at the back so we are left with a 3x3 gap at the center of this section. Now that will be all the quartz blocks we will use for the roof, so make sure you have yours placed correctly like I have here before moving on. Next we will fill in the remaining gaps at the left side of the roof with quartz slabs. Now for the remaining gap at the right side, fill it in with black stained glass for the skylight. And then surround the glass with a border of spruce slabs, which will cover over any of the exposed spruce planks as well. Now with the roof in place, we will next add in the doors and windows to the second floor. So first come to the two quartz walls at the left side and add two doors in between them. Then to the right of this, add black stained glass panes in between the quartz and spruce walls. Now come around to the back and add more black stained glass panes between the spruce walls here. And then we can close off the rest by adding black stained glass panes between these two quartz frames at the back. Next come back to the front of the building and add black stained glass panes on top of the quartz frame surrounding the spruce plank so our balcony has a railing. And lastly for this upper floor we'll add a decorative feature over on the left side wall using spruce slabs. So go over and down a block from the top corner and add a row of spruce slabs across the wall. Then add another row of these slabs half a block below the previous ones. Next we will add in the driveway. 
So starting from the front right corner of the spruce foundation, replace 5 grass blocks with stone slabs. Now replace all the grass blocks behind these slabs with stone blocks until the driveway extends past the spruce wall at the right by one block. Then once our driveway is in place, we will now add a border of leaves around it. Next we will add in a couple of flower beds. So up against the wall on the driveway, place 4 coarse dirt blocks with trap doors around them. and then add your choice of flower on top of the dirt. Now come around to the left side and add a 5 block long flower bed at the middle of these quartz walls and then that will finish up the exterior of the house. Next we will head inside so we can edit the interior. Now the first thing we will do is adding the staircase up to the second floor. So starting from below the last window here, start adding the staircase up using spruce stairs and clear any blocks in the ceiling that are in the way. So once we have the staircase in place, it should be situated between these walls that we added earlier but we won't have to do anything important up here, so let's head back down. Now back on the first floor, let's fill in the back of the staircase with spruce planks. And lastly, we can close off a small room to the side of the staircase with spruce planks and a door, so we can use this room for a bathroom or closet. But with that complete, we won't have to make any more structural changes to the interior, so as always, I'll leave any furniture and decoration of the house up to you guys, however I will quickly show you how mine looks as an example. But that is going to be all for this Modern House tutorial, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. As always, I'd love to hear all your feedback and don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed as I would be much appreciated. And with that said, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Later guys, bye bye.